Okay, this time it took it and started recording. So, refresh. That was weird. Uh, that's a new one. All right, so anyways, I have... Welcome. I have some 4 by 12 canvases that I thought we would work with tonight. Um, I have a couple ideas, but nothing really concrete. For those of you watching on YouTube, this is a recording from Ustream. It's a live audience that I'm chatting with. So if it's a little moving too slow, just fast forward. Good evening, everyone, again. Sorry for the... You stream Zapita. Hi, Dot. You saw my tweet. I tweeted you. All right, so I pulled some papers. Um, I know I want to do a lighthouse at least on one of these. I had this from the jelly plate, and I thought that would fit and would be a good start to a background because that could be the night sky. And then the other thing I thought is we could use one of these packs of papers and do something on one of them with these papers, possibly. Um, they're decoupage paper, you know, they're, they're papers meant for. I've gotten them, but I never used them. So I thought maybe we could do something with that. So I know I want to do a lighthouse. The other thing that I pulled and found was I still have some snowflake stuff in this winter song paper. I thought it'd be fun to do a snowman. So we could do a lighthouse, a snowman. Um, I thought this would be pretty covering one of them. It's a piece of Janet's tissue that we could just paint a canvas and let this be the base and then put something on it. Um, so we can do that on one. Then I had some of this jelly printed tissue and I had some map paper and I thought that was big enough and it has magicals on it. We could cover a piece there and maybe add some of this for the sky and do another lighthouse. I'm because I'm trying to replace the lighthouses I sold. Um, cover this with some kind of paper and do a cat, and cover this with some kind of paper and do birds or a cat. Um, so I don't I don't know quite, but I thought we could start by doing some of the backgrounds. And we'll just start there. We'll do one of these with the cat. One of these backgrounds would work with the cat, I think. All right, let's start with... I don't want to do anything dark underneath here because I want to be able to see... I'm thinking a yellow. So let's give it a coat of yellow paint. And I've just got some Indian yellow. <sighs> Let's do a quick coat of that. Everybody have a good week. It's Friday. I was getting ready and turning the computer on. And if you hear screaming in the background, the kids next door have been playing outside. And one of them got a whistle. I don't know why. There may be um, four to five years old is the little girl. There's a real little boy. Then there's probably one that's a fourth grader maybe and then there's one that's probably in the sixth or seventh grade I guess 
they were outside playing. It sounded like they were playing football at first. And I, the little girl had the whistle. And I heard her blow the whistle. And she said, she blows the whistle and then she goes, drop down, soldier, give me five. <clears throat> and then a few minutes later, she blows that whistle again and she said, you didn't hear me, soldier? Make it 10. I thought that was so funny. And she's just out there bossing her brothers around, I guess. I just sort of... Yeah, it's nice that they're actually playing outside and... They have a trampoline. Alright, so we'll let that dry. Put that in the water. And then this one, we're just going to put the paper on the canvas so we don't need to put paint. We just need some gel medium. And we'll just work back and forth between these. Well, that glue brush is needs to be cleaned, I guess. Must have dried the water, must have. Went down and it got dry. Let's get some glue on both sides. Canvas and the paper. I'm just going to cut a little slit there. Tuck it under kind of like a package. Actually, I want to do this one that way. That works a lot better. We'll do the same thing down here. Her brothers may make her swallow that. Uh, she keeps blowing that whistle at him. They may get tired of it. She's one little bossy thing.
Streaming on Ustream or streaming on YouTube? I was not at Barb's. So, don't get me to lying. Corners off there. YouTube. That makes sense. Um, might be one of the people in that um, CAC. I don't think I want to put gel medium on the top of that. I think we'll add paint to that here in a little bit. I want my screen stay on. Okay, there's Ian. I know who Ian is. I don't know anybody. Stephen from the U. This yellow's still a little wet. Okay, so let's pull out this paper. Like I said I've had this and I just haven't used it. Can't see where how it opens. Well just gonna tear it. I'm sure there's a nicer way to do that. It's kind of tissue weight. Now this one's got metallics on it. I'm thinking I'll use the dark and then maybe we'll use some of the white. Too short. That'll work. I'm going to trim the bottom off. that on the top part like the night sky it almost has um Kind of a almost like a deli paper consistency, maybe you know, it's like a tissue, but it's not, um, it didn't go translucent. There's a little bit of waxiness to it, but like I said, this one is a metallic. Okay, so let's start by putting that there.
Hi, Lori. Hi, Karen. Okay, I'm not going to cut this one because I don't have a whole lot of room. I'm just going to fold in. Trying to make sure that those corners are covered. It adheres really nice. I mean, it's not wrinkling bad. not buckling too bad you know like since it's a thin paper it's not tearing when I brush it but it definitely has uh, it is thin you have a little bit of an air but because it's a canvas you're not but I don't mind the wrinkles. I I like them. It's not going to take paint. Um, doesn't feel absorbent like it would take. So I'm going to go ahead and coat it on the top. And I'm going to see if I can. Oh, I did tear it. It will tear. I'll get covered up. All right, and then let's take a piece. Of the white. And I'm going to tear okay, put some glue on the back of that. So I don't know about flipping it over on its face. I'm going to hold it up and do it. I've got way more paper on the sides than I need. Let's just trim that. Up, oh, I'm hitting the wire on the camera, sorry. It is Deco, I'll show you in just a second, I'll show you the packaging. It is from Deco Arts, and I ordered it, I haven't tried it, it's decoupage paper, it's decorative. They have bought four, I think, I have all, I think I have them all, I'll show you, just a second. I hadn't used them yet. I've had a couple of them for a while now. I just hadn't really had a project that made me grab them. 
And since I didn't have anything concrete in mind, I thought tonight would be a good night to try them out, check them out. So let me show you a package that is not open since I've tore into this one. So they say decoupage, decoupage papers, they're by Americana by Deco Arts. So this one is Victorian Romance and it's got three different papers. They're 12 by 16 sheets. This one is Old World, and it's got three different papers. Again, there's like a typewriter, a map, and some kind of vintage writing. This one is Moroccan. It's got three papers. And this one is metallic type, and it had the black with the white and the white with the black. And then it had a real pretty um, Moroccan motif. And it's silk, like a silver embossed. So. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like wrapping paper. Um, it's, a, it's, it's tissue like. But um, it reminds me of deli paper. So, this will be a lighthouse. I don't know what that will be. This, I think, is going to be a cat, but I'm not positive. So, let's let that dry. I got six of these canvases. Um... That's still wet in places. This is going to be a snowman. I know that. And we're going to use this tissue and this snowflake music paper. I want it to say winter here. And I kind of want that towards the top, I think. This is from a children's piano book. some of this tear one I want a torn edge I don't want it straight edge but I want it a little straight on than this one is so I'll put that like that. <coughs> and then we'll put this one. I'm going to tear it too. Get rid of those pieces. And then we'll put this one down here. something wintry or snowy. We don't get snow, but snowmen. Would be fun. For tall skin, I mean, you gotta think what's gonna work on these are fairly narrow. Take this paper. 
square footage up here. Nope. This paper is going to have to go down here. It's still not going to cover completely on the edges, I don't think. extra paper. No, I won't need that. Uh, we get snow occasionally, but it's more splurries and ice, and it kind of hits the ground and melts. But we are actually far enough that we will occasionally get some nasty weather. I guess I don't think of it as being that bad because, you know, being from Nebraska. Now there's not enough there, so I'm going to just stick a piece of regular music paper without any of the jelly print here. Just so I can get it over the edge of the I can't say that we've gotten really that bad. We didn't um, use any of our bad weather days last year. We got them off in the spring. But you know, then there was one year we had, we went to school Monday and then we didn't go back to school for a week. Which is, you know, but again, it's more ice. And that was the same year we had uh, bad flu problems, and we lost a whole bunch of school because of the flu. They were close, it was getting so bad they were closing schools because of the cases of flu. But I remember that bad storm because we didn't have, uh, we lost water because we had, um, they were repairing our sewer system and we had temporary water hookup in our front yard and it was like a hose to, you know, like a yard hose and it froze. And of course they couldn't get out there to turn it on. So we didn't have running water for a couple days. Yeah.
They put two days in our calendar. And then usually if it's more than that, they can ask the state for waivers. And we've never had to make up. Like even that year, they asked for waivers. Nobody had to make up anything. I think that's dry enough now. Now this is tissue from Janet with magicals on it. Um, they're not shimmery magicals. They're flat. So it doesn't really matter which side I use. I don't want to just put the glue on the top to start with. And then let's just roll it back. This way I can control the placement of it a little bit better. This one will be pretty with uh, maybe birds or flowers. Might do a cat in the garden, like sitting in a garden. Like do some, a cat, like a long tall cat. And maybe a butterfly and some grass. All right, so let's flip that over. And I'm going to trim. So I can save that good stuff for other little scraps for projects. For that edge, I'm just gonna put some glue on it. Now this works better when you put the glue on the canvas. You can't really put it on the paper too much. Because once it gets wet, it just sort of dissolves. This side. Alright, and then I'll get my brush wet so that I can get a little bit watered down gel medium and just put a light coat on it. I don't want to brush too hard with the brush.
just water it down so that it won't tear. But it'll strengthen that tissue and allow me to do something on it. Now, now I can hear the football game down the street. It's about four blocks away. All right, we'll let that dry. We'll get another one. Oh, that's good, Dot. Mine were good. It just was hard to get it in the mail this time. Okay. This is Ohio. And it's got magicals on it. I really just want to trim the sides. I want to stick with that in the middle because that's where the goodness is. It was like cleanup when we were doing spray or something. This will be the last one with blue, I think. Well, maybe one more with, uh, we'll just glue with textbook, uh, not textbook, but uh, book text. We'll just do that. And then they'll all be, have a cover, a canvas. Canvas. All the canvases will be covered with some kind of substrate. And ready. I expect mine went out today because by the time they actually got to the UPS place and got stamps on them, I'm not sure if the mail had been picked up or not, the last mail run. So mine will probably start at their journey to Jennifer's house. For some reason, I was thinking that it was mail by the 15th not get to Jennifer by the 15th. So some of that was, I thought I had time or I thought I had more time. than I did in reality. It's more about just getting to the stupid post office. I hate going to the other places because they just overcharge me a lot of times. They don't they don't know how to do process the envelopes right or something. Because it's always more affordable when I go into the post office. I think sometimes those Places just take whatever the most expensive route for an envelope is, and that's what they they process it as. To say this white paper is the my favorite. It's 
good on the jelly plate. It's good with the magicals. It's thin for collaging on. It's just pliable. It takes the paint. some bubbles in there. It's the hard part about using a canvas. It's kind of like when you stamp on a canvas. Unless you can uh, put something up in the middle, it's hard to get that good contact. And then let's decide if we want to add. I'm leaning towards that. Add a little interest for the sky. Use some water. It's glittery water because that had glitter in it. Down here, I'm going to get a rough edge, and I'm going to use some kind of watered down glue. And then my trick is I spray it with water and it'll lay flat. And then just get real wet gel medium and just try to gently make sure that it's coated. Not worrying about the sides right now. I'm just trying to get the top. Okay, then I'm gonna Put a little bit of glue on that canvas. that dry a little air bubble in there there we go do we want to add before we get rid of the glue do I want to add some of this on parts of that? I think I will. I'm just going to tear. Some pieces of it. And have it. The snowman will be in front of it.
Okay, and then let's... Go a little here. piece right in here. I get that that blue. Right. Coat this area a little bit. We'll all be treated. Okay. Your fingers get super gluey. All right, we get rid of the extra paper scraps that we don't need and tissue out of our way. one last canvas and what did we decide we wanted to do okay so I've got two that are lighthouse one that's for sure a cat one that's for sure a snowman hi Nina try to get the glue off my hands before I go I have one more. And I'm deciding what the back. Oh, we said diction, uh, text, print, book print. That was what we I wanted to put on there. All right, give me just a second. Just trying to find the good yellowed paper that I had. I had some in German, but Some of that. I got one other book. Let me grab. That's just a dictionary. That's yellow. So I'll move that. Pulling some drawers out to let some of these things dry, so they're not quite as sticky. And clear the table off. 
Alright, so we'll put I don't I don't want to use that. Okay, let's see if we have the word. There's cat. Tear up some of this. And we'll put it going different ways. And and this will be the last of the gluing uh, backgrounds, and we can decide what we want to work on first. Kind of leaning towards the snowman. Here's the word cat. Put that up there. Put this piece down here first. Okay. I'm gonna flying bug. Trying to get it where we can it doesn't get lost. That was close. Almost glued it upside down. Okay. Here's the word cat. Hi, Barb. Hi, Jen. Just doing some backgrounds right now. So we have, and we're going to do a snowman, I think. This glue, I don't know what happened to it. I don't normally have this problem, but finding big chunks. I 
I saw on Pinterest this cat that was done on text and it was uh, dark around the outsides and then the cat was like translucent and you could still see the print of the dictionary print. I thought that might be kind of fun to do something like that. This is in lots of layers, so I'm just going to start where I can find a piece to, to pick up, fold in. And I just put lots of glue. This side, do the long sides first. Those kids are still outside playing. Again, kind of just like a package. Just fold them up. That way the corners are covered. Tear some of this back a little bit. On that side, I think. Okay, they're all glued. Get rid of this extra paper. Get that one to find a place to lay that to dry. Alright, let's throw the scraps away. Let me cut the glue. Well, I don't want to put the glue away. Using this for my snowman. And that can be his hat. Um, let's look in the red scraps. I'm going to see if I can find something that I want to use. Or like a scarf. Let's 
That might work for a scar. That's a possibility too. That might work. So I'm just trying to find some things that are in those color. The other possibility is to make the snowman out of that. also straight up dictionary paper. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's too much music on music on music. So I'm gonna ditch that. It's either going to be, I'm leaning, I'm kind of leaning towards this. And I think what I'm going to do is just shaped. I didn't really want to cover them up. Does he need... It started out playing up for me, Jen. It wouldn't record. But it's been acting up okay right now. And at least the chat's moving. That's the biggest thing it's been doing to me lately when I stream is my own chat stops. And I can't see the active chat. Okay. I don't really want to put him in the center. I didn't really want to cover them up. Maybe we need to put like a little snow in here. do anything for me. Okay, let's glue him down. We'll start with that.
make him a scarf. Kind of blowing. All right, and then hat. as a hat and we'll put some little holly or something on it. Let's let that dry. That's good. And then we'll add the details with paint pens or the pit pens. Okay, so we'll set that to the side. This one, I know I want to be a night sky for a lighthouse, but I want to put some wash on here. Let's do magical. Because this will take it. It's old paper. Want a lot of purple, but we'll do which is purple. Let's do the silver. And then I guess maybe the tainted teal. Kind of a grayish blue. And we'll focus that up here. And actually we'll put rock color down here. We'll put a couple browns down here. Okay, so let's going to sprinkle some on this paper. What's this silver? Get a little bit. Spread that out just a little bit. Okay. I don't want to go too crazy with the purple. Okay. Then 
do a little bit of the teal. Okay, so that looks good for the top. And then I'm going to use two browns at the bottom. One's more of a copper brown, and the other one's more of a bronze. I almost put the wrong lid. Hi, Galena. I think I'm going to put a little silver in there too. Nah, I'll just leave it. Alright, let's. I want to. I'm spraying from high. I really didn't want to disturb the powders so much. Let's chase them around a little bit with the dryer. I'm using the brush to get down on the sides because that paper is so old it will just soak it up. I'm going to get that blue and that purple mixed a little bit, I think. I'll say the silver I think just disappeared. And if you can get the water to pool up in some places, you get good marks, water marks, layers.
<laughs> okay. Let's put the magicals up. There's just shimmer. Of course, I don't. I don't actually buy any of them that are flat. I like the, the blingy shimmer. Let's get a paper towel and clean up some of this. Here. You can see, you can still see the the instructions from the sewing pattern. I still need have some bubbles I need to work on, but that that's neither here nor there. All I do when I is I'll just get some of those areas that and just pop with the exacto knife some tiny holes, and then the next time I do a layer of gel. It'll get up under there. But that is pretty. Okay. Let's do a lighthouse. I always do it in a map. Maybe I should do it in a dictionary print. I need a big piece of paper.